Part Two of the Adventure of Charles Augustus Milverton. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Gazine. The Return of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The Adventure of Charles Augustus Milverton, Part Two. It was a good fire, and the room was illuminated by it. Chapter Thirteen of Dracula. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Dracula by Bram Stoker. Chapter Thirteen. Read by Dennis Sayers, Elizabeth Clett, David Lawrence. Dr. Seward's diary continued. The funeral was arranged for the next succeeding day, so that Lucy and her mother might be buried together. I attended to all the ghastly formalities, and the urbane undertaker proved that his staff was afflicted, or blessed, with something of his own obsequious suavity. Even the woman who performed the last offices for the dead remarked to me in a confidential, brother-professional way, when she had come out from the death-chamber, She makes a very beautiful corpse, sir. It's quite a privilege to attend on her. It's not too much to say that she will do credit to our 